uh, in the Teams uh, folder. Yeah. So just uh, those, uh, if you're not aware, uh, chapter two tutorial already in the tutorials uh, folder. Okay, so just recap what uh, where we stopped uh, previously. So um, to recap, F equal to MA. So this chapter, uh, chapter two, we will look at um, second Newton law, uh, F equal to MA. And then we apply chapter one, the three Newton's equation of motion, right, in the example, right? So F equal to MA, you can derive in three axes, X, Y, and Z. And then we have go through um, two examples in our previous class. Right. We have looked at the cannon and also um, the cannon and also the box, uh, the crane. Now let's uh, continue our example. So today we look at the third example that you have seen before um, at the last chapter, a uh, last section of the chapter one, when we um, try to find the relationship of a uh, two body, right? So this chapter will apply your understanding from chapter chapter uh, from chapter one, the last the last uh, section of the chapter one, where you tell the relationship between two body with the pulley. Now you apply in this case using second Newton law. Now you read the statement. You have a hundred kilogram block A, which is this one, suspended on a pulley with the rope and release from rest. So initially, um, block A is 100 kilogram and from the rest you let go. Okay, you let go of this uh, block A. If the mass of the pulley and the cord is, it can be ignored, determine the velocity of 20 kilogram block in two seconds. So you have block A and block B. Block A is 100 kilogram, B is 20 kilogram. So when you let go of A, okay, when you let go of A, this A will go down because this one is more heavy than this one. So this one go down. So automatically you, you should relate B will be going up. Okay, B motion will be going up because A is going down. So before you solve the question using second Newton law, F equal to MA, um, you need to know the logic, uh, uh, logic or relative movement between the two body. Okay, let me know if you're not able to see when A drop, B go up. Huh? All right. Now recall, object A and object B was linked with something. We linked with something. Uh, when you derive motion A and motion B later on. Huh? So object A and object B was linked to something. This something is this rock, uh, this uh, cord here or this line here. Okay, A and B was related with the length of this line. <coughs> Why? Because if A move down, this length, uh, this length doesn't change. This length doesn't change. This length doesn't change. This length doesn't change. What it changed between A and B is the movement and the length from here to here plus here to here plus here to here do not change. So I hope you can recall the last section of uh, chapter one that you relate body A and body B with the pulley. Okay, so in this diagram, you see there's some datum. Recall what is the datum function or what is the purpose of datum. It will tell you the positive direction of your calculation. So if you look carefully at this datum line and there's a dot and an arrow head, it means if you want to calculate the movement of C or pulley C, uh, that the center of this pulley, if you refer to A, all right, or you want to measure the displacement of pulley C or displacement of 
A, because both of them are same, no matter where they move, they move the same displacement. So how far the A move, C will move the same. So S A here can represent the A movement here. Okay, but the this but the displacement or the position is measuring from datum here. Going down is positive for S A. What about B? B measure from datum also from the dot until arrowhead, meaning if B going down, all the movement will be positive. Huh? Meaning, uh, if you're referring to datum, be careful when you talk about S A and S S A and S B. Yeah? So the positive value for S A if going down by based on this datum, based on this datum line, the dot and the arrow. If you have a S A positive value in your calculation, it means the object going down. Okay, because the direction of positive is going down. Yeah. So before you solve your question, make sure you understand the hidden message in the diagram here. Okay. The question asks you the velocity of object B after two seconds, meaning after two seconds, object A release. What is the velocity of B at that particular uh, time? Okay. Now, when you cut, when you want to solve this kind of question using um, um, f equal to m a or second uh, Newton law, you only need to remember the strategy of solving. First, you look at two things, huh? two diagram you need to draw for uh, for using the f equal to m a. One is free body diagram, one is the kinematic diagram. Because F, F equal to MA, the F represents free body diagram. MA is the kinematic diagram. So when you solve the question for chapter two, uh, basically you break your answer sheet into two sides. Left hand side is a free body diagram. Right hand side is the kinetic diagram. So F on the left hand side, MA on the right hand side. But sometimes as we, uh, as we progress, Further, we will combine the two diagram together, free body diagram and kinematic diagram in one diagram. Okay, in the next uh, few more example. So we draw the free body diagram on the left and kinematic diagram on the right. So let's focus on individual uh, object first. Huh? So now we focus on pulley C because we want to find the force on this cable. So pulley C is a good starting point because pulley C, you are having two rod here or two, uh, two cord line here. Okay, two line here and one line here. So if you focus free body diagram, focus on pulley C, you can draw the two line going up, the forces pulling from this end going up, this end going up, and there's one force at the center of the pulley C going down because of the mass of object A. So this is the first free body diagram you extract from this diagram. Any question on this diagram? You don't understand why the two arrow pointing up and one arrow pointing down? Then you label the arrow. We label as tension, cable tension, T one side, T another side. What about here? Here is two T yeah? because this one plus this one equal to this one. Correct? This one you learn in your static uh, in your static module. When you when you have cable connected to pulley, so basically they share the load, okay? So T going up, T going up, and then two T going down. Any question for the first diagram? Any question on converting this section into pulley diagram? So the weight of the load? This one? You mean this one? 
Yes, You're asking about this one, right? Yes, sir. Okay. We will come to this uh, next. Uh, we look at policy first. We look at what happened to the policy. Where is the tension cable about? Of course, you can straight away jump into pulley A, like this one. Okay. Now we focus on mass A, where we focus on the mass. So you draw a square or a, a circle also can to represent object A. So again, when you draw an object with a mass, straight away the first force acting on the body is because of the mass under gravitational acceleration, which is your W. Okay, so first arrow that you put into your free body diagram for an object with a mass is always your weight, huh? W equal to mg. So in this case, I put m sub a means to represent body A because I have two body here. So to just to represent uh, object A, I use M sub A with a G. And how to complete this free body diagram? What do you think? There is an arrow at the body, at the top of the body, which is going up. So the arrow of this body is going up to sustain, to sustain the weight. And the arrow is opposite from from the pulley C diagram. Eh? So the tension on this cable must be the same. The tension of this cable must be the same. So that's why I can put 2T here, same with the pulley C. Okay. This is the strategy when you involve with pulley system. You always start with focusing on one of the pulley that share the same tension. In this case, policy, you have three cable. You can relate the relationship between this cable with this diagram, T, T, and 2T. And then you transfer the information to another free body diagram. Okay. Of course, you can ask, hey, Dr. Ang, can I skip this policy free body diagram or not? You can, you can skip at your first step, steps. You can draw this diagram first, but you still need to find what is your tension cable forces. So at the end, you still need to draw pulley C. Okay. But anyway, it depends on which one you go one, you want to go first. Most students, they will pick the mass first and then they will draw the pulley C. So if you put if you put, if you look at mass A and you draw the free body diagram first, very high chances, very high chances you will make mistake in this diagram. You will put, maybe you'll put F over here. So when you convert into here, maybe you will confuse. If you put F over here, this one become half F, this one become half F huh? because this one plus this one equal to this one. So you need to relate a little bit the information. Okay, any question on the free body diagram for pulley C and pulley A before we move to kinematic diagram? Does it make sense to you? Anything that you're not clear? Don't shy, eh? don't shy to ask question. Eh? So far, no, sir. Okay, good. Eh? All right. So, because this diagram will help us equal F equal to MA. So, what happened to pulley C? Does pulley C accelerate? If, if uh, pulley C, yes, it's accelerate, but it doesn't help you to solve the problems, right? You can convert this one equal MA also, but this one MA, the acceleration is on the pulley C. The question doesn't ask you about pulley, so you don't need to go for this one F equal to MA. So you don't need to process the pulley C. Why you do pulley C? Because you want to find the tension okay, of the cable. So you proceed to the mass A calculation, F equal to MA, so you draw the kinematics diagram. What, how you draw the kinematic diagram, draw the shape first, draw the object first, 
and then look at how the object move. Kinematics column here is more on the motion. Where does it move? This one move down. Eh? Because this one is more heavy, right? So 100 kilogram, you, you, you release from the rest, you take away your support, this one go down, right? So this object going down, so your MA arrow is going down. Okay, so I write M sub A, acceleration sub A to represent the mass for A, acceleration for A. Any question for this diagram? Any question? No, we will proceed there. Eh? Stop me eh, if you're not able to uh, digest the information. Eh? Stop me. Eh? Okay, we move on. Eh? Just to um, just to help us about our positive negative sign. So I just put a marking beside my kinematic kinematic diagram because I might make mistake over here. So I just remind myself as a positive going down. I just put this remark over here. Of course, in exam, you don't draw this one. I'll still give you full marks. All right, this is just to help me when we do calculation later on. Okay, so this is my my practice. Huh? This is my practice. Just to remind me uh, on, on conversion of positive negative sign. Next. Once you focus on A, you draw free body diagram for B. Okay, F equal to MA equation apply to all the body with weight and we focus on the question also. So for mass B, are you able to guess your free body diagram? You draw a square to represent B. So how do you draw B? Straight away, think about gravitational acceleration. Draw the first W first, going down. Always go pointing down the weight. And then there's a support a line pulling up. Okay, what do you think the value of this line? Is this line, this line, is it 2T or T? For B, the tension value, is it T or 2T? What do you think? What do you think? Let me ask question, yeah? Shilton, are you there? Shilton? Yes, sir. Okay, Shilton, help me to complete this free body diagram. You have your W already. W going down, W equal to mg, so m sub bg. There's one more forces acting on this body, which is what? It is pointing up or pointing down? Help me to complete this. Pointing up, sir. Pointing up, what is the value? It is T or 2T. Uh, Pointing up, but the magnitude, it is T or 2T. I think what 2T, T, sir. Okay. 2T is which cable? This cable, right? So where is this yes. cable linked to? This cable linked to what? Linked to this cable, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you imagine you are pulling what? You are standing here. Let's say you're standing here and pulling this cable. How much do you feel? You feel T or you feel 2T? You feel this one or you feel this one? It should be T, I feel right? T, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, T, sir. So it should be T, yeah? So it's a, a bit different from object A and object B, yeah? The tension, the tension will be different based on their position. Huh? So any question, any question you don't understand why for object B suddenly it's not 2T, but it suddenly become T because it share the same cable here. This cable same as here. Okay, this cable share the same load of this one. You imagine you are pulling this cable. What do you feel? Are you feeling this weight or you're feeling this weight? Uh, or you can look at this uh, pulley C free body diagram. Then you can understand. Actually, this 
the one that pulling B is T. They're sharing the same, same magnitude of uh, tension. Okay, then the same, you do the same. You have done free body diagram, you do the kinematics, F equal to MA. So just draw the body and then put in the motion of the body. What do you think? The motion MA going up or going down for B? What do you think? Um, Vinoch, are you there? Pranesh, uh, Vinoch? Yes, sir. Okay. So what do you think for the kinematic size? You need to draw the MA, right? F equal to MA. So where is the arrow of MA for B? Does it going up or going down? Oh, which one, sir? Where are we now? We are talking A or we're talking B now? So B, sir. Yeah, B. So we are talking about B mm. and we're talking about kinematics component. Kinematic mm. component is deal with MA. So what is okay. the direction of object B? Going, it's going up, sir. It's going up, yeah? Because if you let go mm. A, you let go A, mm. B going yes. up. So your arrow, sorry. Okay, so in this case, uh, in this case, we will assume, of course, it will go up. Lah. You know that it's go up, right? So it go up. We know that it go up later. You will see that our acceleration will become negative if we assume our, because why? Because we are, we are assuming our uh, SB is going down positive. Huh? Of course, the object will be going up. But in this case, we will just follow our reference, this one. So later you will see negative sign on your answer. This is our prediction. Uh, this is our early prediction. Of course, in realistic, this one will going up. Of course, you can, in this diagram, you can draw going up, uh, no problem. Okay, in this diagram, you can draw going up. Uh. But li because later you will process your answer according to the diagram. Yeah? Okay, let's look at the first set of your object A. So your object A, your free body diagram, on one side, kinematic diagram on the left hand side. So on the left hand side, what you do, you balance the force, equation of motion. Next steps of uh, drawing the free body diagram and kinematics. Next step is to do the equation of motion when all the force equal to MA, F equal to MA. In this case, you your object only move in vertical direction. So I just put all the direction going up in my motion is assumed as positive. Fy equal to may. So all the motion going up is positive. I put in the answer here. I extract this information over here. So this one going up. Uh, sorry, uh, I should. In this case, uh, in this case, it should be going down. Okay, let me change the slides. Huh? There's some typo error in my answer here. So as you can see here, if I answer is positive, means that I'm assume going down because my SA is uh, positive. So let me change my arrow here. Okay, let me change my arrow, yeah. Okay, then it looks much better. Okay, so I assume all my directions going down by following my datum direction. So if you compare my free body diagram kinematics, mg going down positive, going up to t negative, equal to ma because it's going down positive. So my ma a acceleration going down is positive. 
I put in the value. Mass for A is 100 kilogram. G is 9.81. And I have my first equation over here. I have my first linear equation over here for object A. Right? So just now there's a typo error in my slides here. I just change, flip it over to match my SA datum direction and also my motion direction. Okay. For B, okay, here also I make a mistake in my slides. Let me do correction. For my B, B going down is positive. Okay, just now there's a typo error in my this one. I follow my motion direction. So mg going down positive, t is negative. So m a b going down because I follow the datum direction. Yeah. I get my second equation. Okay, I get my second equation. Now. Stop for a while there. Yeah? Pause. Stop for a while. You know that logically, if you let go A, your object B will going up, right? But here, here, we assume, we assume that this body is a free body. Okay, we assume that this is free body, meaning if I let go this cable, okay, if I let go, if I if I do not join the the cable of A and B. You imagine if I just look at B alone, if I let go of the cable or I cut the cable, what will the B behave? It will go down, right? If I cut the cable, what will happen to B? B will go down, right? So that's why in my hypothesis, hypothesis or my assumption before I link A and B, I assume my object going down because of the acceleration, gravitational acceleration. Okay. Any question so far? We have the second equation. So we far, okay. We have the first set and second set now. First set, you link free body diagram for object A. Second equation, because you use the free body diagram and the kinetic diagram for object B. We have two equation. Now, because these two equation, if you look at, oh, where is my, okay, this is the first equation. So first equation, you have two unknown, T A sub A, and another equation, T A sub B, basically you have three unknown. You have two equations, but three are known. So you're not able to solve. You need one more equation to solve these two linear equations. So recall back what you learned in the last section of chapter one, that you link the relative to, of two body with the line. You link using this line, compare with A and B. Okay, Recall, huh? this is what you learned before. So we stop for a while for A and B, equation of motion. Then we try to link, we try to link these two equations with relative movement that we learned in chapter one. So how do we link A and B? We link with the length of this cable. Okay, maybe you forget already, but I try to uh, help you to recall. Now we focus on the relationship between A and B under pulley situation. The only thing that link A and B is the cable. How you link the cable? By the total length that link A and B. So what is the total length of this cable? We take as A plus as A plus as B you get the total length, right? Get this equation. Total length of the cable, because total length do not change, 
throughout the process, no matter how, how you let go, how you push the two object, the length of the cable always same. So you can use this equation L equal to 2SA plus SB. And then by using this L equation or length of the cable equation, you do derivative over time, meaning you differentiate this equation over time two times over T, meaning you differentiate this position over time, you get velocity. Differentiate one more time, you get acceleration. Why we need to differentiate two times? Because our answer here, our previous two equations here, they are acceleration. So you link the, link, the length of the cable and the displacement or the position of the object with the acceleration by using derivation two times over time, right? Okay, so I just put a note there. You derive or you differentiate over time this equation two times. The length doesn't change at all. So when you L over dt, you always get zero. This one, SA, you derive over time one time or the S dt, you get velocity and you differentiate one more time, you get acceleration. So you get two A sub A plus A sub B. From here to here, you're using differentiation over time. Okay, so this one you learned before in chapter one, last, last section, when we link the motion of two body together. Okay. Now from here, this is the third equation that can link these two equations. Once you pick this one, this one, and this one, basically you are solving three simultaneous equations. Right? From here, you know the relationship between A and B. You can see now from the, even from this equation, the direction of the acceleration is different between A and B. There's a negative sign there, positive one side, negative one side, meaning if A positive means what? If A move down, B move up. Why move up? Why negative? Because the datum that you use is positive going down. Any question so far for this equation? I highlight the three equation. You solve this three equation, simultaneous equation, meaning you substitute A, B over here. Then you have the two same equation. You solve the simultaneous equation. Okay, solve simultaneous equation. Eh? Okay. You can know what is your T what is your acceleration of your A object, what is your acceleration of your B object. I do not show you the detailed calculation, but basically after you get three equations, this one, this one, and this one, basically you have three equations, three unknown, you're able to solve all the three unknown. This is the reference answer for you when you do your revision. Your T value is 237.0 Newton. Remember the unit is important. Again, uh, in exam or test, if you forget about your unit, there will be 50% discount for the answer. Let's say this one is two marks. If you give me 327.0 without the unit, you only score one point for T in the exam. If this come out, uh, Okay. If this one was uh, full mark is two marks, you only get 50% of the marks. Okay. Any question so far? Any question you don't understand or you don't know how, how to get T, uh, A, uh, A, sub A, acceleration for object A, acceleration for B? Any question? Everyone good? No questions. Good, eh? And remember, uh, don't forget the negative sign. Eh? A positive, yes, B will be negative. Eh? Don't forget about that. All right. No question? 
we continue to solve eh? because the question asks us about velocity not acceleration not tension but how do we solve for velocity of b so we know that if you let go of a b will go into accelerate at a, at a constant acceleration so again when you heard about the constant acceleration you can use the three newton equation of motion to solve this question all right so this will be the one that i mentioned this will be the one of the newton equation of motion v equal to v naught plus a t okay v equal to v naught plus a t i think this one is the third time or second time you see this equation in this chapter okay so in this case we focus on b because the question asks us to focus on b i think you can substitute the the parameter here right the question asks you to find velocity so this one will be the answer looking for v naught what is the v initial velocity what is the initial velocity for b let me ask uh, um sivendra sivendra are you there yes i'm here sir yeah so what do what what do you think if you want to use this equation for B, what is the initial velocity for B? Uh, it should be zero, sir. Correct. So when you put zero and you put substitute the answer of negative A something, negative 6.5, T is given by the answer, uh, by the question, because the question gives you to calculate T. So basically, you use your calculator. Velocity for B after two seconds will be minus 13.1 meter per second. What mean by negative? You need to refer to your data. Huh? Going down is positive. So you get a negative velocity. It means object B moving up with the velocity of 13.1 meter per second. Okay. So in your coming test or final exam, you will see in a particular question section, it will ask you, uh, let's say I take this example. The question will ask you to determine the velocity of 20 kilogram block B in two seconds. I will add this one further. Explain the explain the direction of B or object B with the answer. So after you find all the answer, you get negative 13.1 meter per second. You need to add one more statement here. Okay, velocity at B is 13.1 moving up. Or if you're lazy to explain, if you're lazy to explain, another alternative answer, you can put bracket. Okay, not bracket. You can write V equal to 13.1 meter per second, positive. Huh? You write V equal to 13.1 meter per second, bracket. You draw an arrow then you answer the question already. <coughs> okay, so always, always uh, ask yourself, are you able to understand what is negative sign mean? What is the positive sign mean? Okay. Okay, so this is um, some additional information. Okay, uh, let's uh, take, uh, do you guys need a short break or you can uh, go ahead with a uh, new new information you guys need to break yes sir yes sir all right let's have um now is uh, 4 22 uh, we continue 4 30 okay we continue 4 30 let me stop the recording <coughs> 